Okay then. I guess I guess we're gonna be uh, molested by a shadow. You know what? Let's let's look at something happy real quick because that made me too scared. There we go. That's pretty fucking happy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, that's good enough. I'm I'm happy again now. All right, so hello everybody watching here and welcome back to The Hanged Man. Oh baby, wow, okay. So now we've got ourselves a knife. I have no idea what we're gonna do with it. We're just gonna, did I just equip it? What? Okay, I was like, I was trying to figure out how to do that all freaking day yesterday and I couldn't do it. Okay, so we got a knife. I kind of feel like, wasn't there something in the elevator just a while ago and we weren't able to get to it because we couldn't reach it? Catch it. I feel like the answer is yes, and I know that the answer is yes. But let's just keep doing it anyway. There we go. A transport elevator. Something's inside, but it won't open. Okay. Maybe you can be persuaded with a knife. I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Maybe we can use a spray paint can. We can create some negative... No. I was going to create, like, negative air pressure, but that's definitely not how that works. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a storybook. That's right. And it says return to... Oh, my God. There's so many things that I have to keep track of. This is just too much. It's too, too much. Maybe we're going to scrape crap off the walls with the n knife? I don't think... That doesn't make any sense, though. That can't be what we're doing. I refuse to accept this. Go back up to the top floor. Maybe now that we have a knife, we're going to... Oh, wait! Maybe we can use the knife to scratch off some of the crap on the door. It is not in this level. I completely screwed it up. It must be... I can't... Uh, I'm trying to... F Why didn't we... Uh. You know what? I'm just going to let my frustration just happen right now. Pop! <gasps> it's Pop! Oh, no. Pop, why did you have to go into that room? Pop, why? No, okay, so now we have a situation. There's a rat that's in this room. We should take off our jacket and block this door, right, at the very bottom, so we know that that little guy is in there. And then we'll create a bunch of cheese right outside the door, and we'll catch him. Why can't people think? I swear, this is like very basic stuff if you're wanting to catch a rat. Oh my god, I'm never gonna understand the shit in this game. I'm s it's so, so hit and miss with me. Sometimes I just get it right away and I can figure this stuff out. Why in the world didn't I just try to enter the door right next to it? Be able to see if you can get in. That makes sense. Oh wow, what do you know? Is that light coming through? Oh, how did I know it was there? I'm a horrible person. Okay. There's a hole near the bottom of the wall. Light is coming through from the neighboring room. Go through the hole. What? Did you just eat my rat? Uh, hey, uh, you, you were the one in the hall earlier, huh? I thought about talking to you, but you were praying. Pop! Oh, this? Is it your pet? He's more like my friend, kind of. <laughs> That's a cute friend you have. Um, but still kind of weird to have a rat friend. I mean, they c can talk, right? Pop can talk. Oh, r really? I've never met a t talking rat before. Hey, Pop. Want to say hi to Ed? Your name's Ed? Yeah, sh short for Edward. And you? Well, do you live here, Ed? Nah, I have a home, but I can't go back. I'm s staying here for a while. I would be leaving soon, but I've g got something to do. So I'm still not sure. Uh, Pop! He ran off. I guess he hates me. Pop! Where are you l 
looking for him? Sorry I made him run. I'd like to help look, but I'm busy searching too. What are you searching for? A notebook. It's small and black. I thought it was in this room, but I can't find it. Well, hmm. I'll look for Pop, but I'll bring that if I find it. Could you catch Pop if he comes back here? Oh, sure thing. Thanks, Will. Wow, look at we have a wonderful friend now. Oh my god, Ed, you're the best. Was the notebook really here? Yeah, it sh should have been. Maybe it was in some other room. I'll have to look around later. I got hungry, so I've been eating. I, I think your friend wanted my leftovers. Interesting. Take his food. Take it, take it, and run with it. Go through the hall. Get out of here. Let's go find a beautiful, wonderful little rat. Where do you think he went? If he ran away, there's no logical way to determine where a rat is going to go. It's going to follow along the edge of the wall and then go in whatever hole it can. It's running out in the middle of open areas. It'll be picked up by an owl or something. Cat. Eagle. Hungry bystander. I don't know the answer to these things. I still don't know the deal with that. Just keep going. Maybe something happened. Up here. Doesn't look like it. Whoa. Okay, maybe it did. Get in there. There it is again. It sounds like someone crying. Oh, what a little baby. What do you think they're crying about? There's nothing on the shelves. Maybe it's Keith. Keith's crying. Because he doesn't get to be the protagonist of this game. So sad. Empty cans of juice. Ooh. Cabinet contains some old documents. We don't care about them. Not even a kind of... Oh, darn. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> this is why I hate the dark. Because there's always something there. Okay, well, good night. Mom? Yes? It's nothing. If you say so, good night. When it's night and the room goes dark, he always appears. He never says a word. He's just there. He must be a mime. Might try to call for mom, but it's pointless. He disappears once the lights come on. Just who is he? Does he want to tell me something? Is he my friend? Or is he? Mm. 
you got guts to take a nap here, kid. Oh, wow, Keith, thanks so much for saving me from my nightmare. You're the best. Also, why are you still here looking for me? You! What did you come here for? Did you find your rat? <laughs> Just leave him. I'm sure he'll have a fine life out in the wild. Now, how about you give up and head home, Mr. William Morton? Huh? Why do you... <laughs> Word of advice. When you run from home, don't bring your student ID. Even if you do, hide it in your jacket. You can't just take people's things. So what is it you skipped school and came all this way for? How about this then? What kind of business do you have with David? I'm asking you what you want with David. Resident at 135 Womack Street. What's your relation to him? I'm his cousin. No, stop snooping already. One more thing. Are you receiving any threats? Huh? Demon child, huh? That's one worrying letter to be walking around with. Give that back! Answer my question. Or would you rather be lectured by a scary officer at the police station? I'm not being threatened. I think. Huh? I said give it back. Why do you know David? Does he know you? Met him a while back. Now we go drinking sometimes. So what's your story? It's none of your business. Really? Well, go off and look for your rat. You come with me. Huh? And why should I? Because I'm... Speak up, kid. Because I'm scared walking around here on my own. <laughs> you just laughed, didn't you? I'm not laughing. Liar. <laughs> oh, I'm the liar. Why would you be getting scared now? You were walking around here just fine earlier. Because Pop was with me. That's why I could still handle it. Eh? If Pop's there, I'm fine. If I listen to Pop, we'll always be okay. I should have known. I shouldn't have come here. Way out to this town. And all this snow. Pop tried to stop me. He said I shouldn't. But I kept insisting. You in your head, kid? If you really think your rat's talking to you, you ought to be in the hospital. If Pop doesn't doesn't come back. What do I do? It's so cold. And I'm all alone. What if... Hey, hey now. Don't cry. You're 14, right? You can't go crying that easily. I'm not crying. Listen, this building's full of rats. I've seen a bunch along the way. Does yours have any identifying features? His right leg's bent, and there's a little fur missing on it. All right. If I catch him, I'll bring him to you. But don't get your hopes up. You can keep searching some, but be ready to give up if you don't find him. We're not staying here past nightfall. Got that? You won't come with me? Do I look like I came here for a relaxing stroll? I'm busy with work here. Just, who are you? I'm a detective. And why are you here? That, my friend, is none of your business. Well, what's your name? Keith. Now get on your way. Okay, well, awesome. Thank you, Keith. Oh, you're the best letting me snuggle in your nice warm jacket while I'm terrified. But you know what? You're kind of a butthole for not coming with me. So, a clutch bag. 
Maybe it's Keith's. <laughs> eh. All the years you suffered, those were the best years of your life. George Schmidt. Hey, stop digging around in there. Ha! Look at this guy! <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, I can't dig around in your stuff, but you can dig around in mine. D don't threaten me! Is that photo yours? That's this building, right? Not mine. I'm borrowing it. Although, my dad will give it back. Interesting. Hmm. We go through there now. Oh, awesome! Hey, Keith. Did you unlock this door? Who knows? Must have been unlocked already. Mind games. Ooh, spooky. Ah! But we got a key. Whoa. Ah, hell yeah. Give me that key, baby. A mirror. A one-way mirror. There's nothing on the shelves. Blah, blah, blah. Can I believe he's really a detective? What would a detective even be doing here? Maybe I should ask you about it. Wow, good idea. Let's do it. Let's ask him. Hey, you, handsome. Why are you here? Um, hey, what kind of building is this anyway? A hospital? Oh, that's a good question. It was an old mental hospital. It got shut down ages ago, though. Ah, shit. Now I don't want to be here anymore. After millionaire Jim Port bought up the forest, it was repurposed as a homeless shelter for a few years. Shelter? A place the homeless could call home. Does this idiot not know what a shelter is? Was that incident 15 years ago thing true? What was it about? Sorry, I'm not really one to tell spooky stories to people liable to wet their pants. This building's strange. There are these shadows or something. And locked doors opening up all of a sudden. Locked doors? Well, that'd be me. Huh? Unlike you, little trespasser, I have permission to be here. So I also borrowed some of the key. Of course it's old, so lost been lost of time. But still, there are these shadow things. They're moving all around. Oh yeah, shadows everywhere. Because it's dark, and you're freaked out, so you think they're moving. Keith, can you just give me those keys, please? That'd be great. What? Go on. Find your rack. He seems busy with investigation. He's just sitting over the table looking at papers. He's trying to look busy. I know that. I know that look. It's a blank-eyed stare while you're thinking about what you're going to do later. Or maybe like what you're going to go buy at the store or something. You picked up a key. I didn't look at the key yet. It says document room. Cool. I wonder where in the world that document room might be. We know this door's locked from the inside, so this kind of useless, is it? What the hell? Oh, okay. I was gonna say if that actually opened, I was gonna be freaked out, and it did open, but it was because it was connected to the other room. It's fine. I'm gonna take a guess here. None of these doors are gonna be unlockable with that key because they're already all open anyway. Do you think the? Oh, maybe the hobo guy knew. Dang it. Okay. Well, we're gonna walk around a little bit and see if we can find. Oh, wait, we have a map. What am I even doing? Hold on. Star room, kitchen, dining room, visit room, store. But, oh, yeah, look at that door. Huh? It said document room, right by the office. Okay. I don't know where any of this is. I don't know how to orient myself. What do, what's this one? It's too dark to read the label. Okay, how about now? Dining room. Okay. We can figure this out. So it's, uh, uh... I don't know. Just walk around until you find it, and then I'll pretend like you did it on purpose. Yeah, it's... That's what I'm going to do. Visiting room. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're going to walk further this way. I mean upwards. Nailed it. Staff's lounge. What? Is it in there? No. No, it's not. Further back. I am very grateful that they gave me this map. And that's it. It won't open. So that doesn't mean there's luck, though. This is so confusing. Isn't it? That was weird. I heard a, I heard a noise. 
in my room right next to me. It was the hanged man. He's coming for me. Yeah, let's just use the map on it. That makes sense. Ah, there it is. Oh, hell yeah. Saving. Oh, God! Pop? Pop? Good, I found you. C come on down, Pop. Let's go. This place is just... You can't get down? W wait there. I'll get you down. How could you tell that's Pop if it has something wrong with its blind leg? Blind leg? Back leg. And he's higher than you. This kid's crazy. Oh, and if you're wondering, uh, this right here, this is, uh, see, it took me six minutes to play all the way up to that part where I had to re-record. There's something on the ground. What is it? Oh, tarot cards, thanks. Take a look, a collection of tarot cards. Tarot, whatever. Enter next card. Okay, I can do that. The chariot. The two little ugly animals down there. Jeez. Ugh, oh, the emperor. Oh, wait, I have these. I like the death one. The magician. He's got an infinity. Justice. Makeout moon. Ooh, furry makeout moon. Nice. The hermit. That's me. Judgment. That one might be me. I like the naked people. I don't want this one to be me. Uh, there it is. Well, thank you for those nightmares. Okay, so let me think. Uh, is this solvable? Number one. There's something on the shelves, but I can't reach it. Let's block this hole. What do you think? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. What the hell is that? I just noticed it right now. It's like a little chupacabra. Oh, baby. Not fun. I'm going to save right away immediately. Okay, um, so if I push this, uh, do, do, do. where's the pathway? So they have two. Okay, so this is possible, I think. Uh, I was going to push it. Yeah. Hmm. So if I push it this way, I can't push it up anymore. Is it only two big? Hold on. One. Yeah, wait, you have to have the ladder right here. Or, and then you push it... Push it left. What the heck? How oh, is this even a thing? This isn't... I don't... Ah, uh, I'm so dumb. Unless... Oh, wait, maybe I'm making this way too hard. It doesn't... Maybe it doesn't have to be in front of... Oh, it didn't have to be in front... Oh, okay. Pop! Oh, Pop, you little shit. Why did you run away, Pop? He doesn't like you anymore. It's found his own people! A tabloid. The tragedy that befell the homeless. The happy murders. Are you familiar with a certain incident that occurred in the deep woods on the outskirts of Marvel Hill? Deepwoods Hospital, which once accommodated patients with mental illness was abandoned in 1970 and long neglected. But it was later purchased, woods and all, by one Jim Cork, famous millionaire and philanthropist. Cork made use of the old hospital as a shelter for the homeless, calling in priests to open a chapel and running a social action program. Yet, all this came to an end with that gruesome incident, which would come to be called the Happy Murders. One winter day, a priest in the chapel noticed something amiss with the shelter's residents. He attempted to question them as they kept suspiciously silent and soon discovered five corpses in the building. The cause of death all differed from stabbing to strangling, and they were also found in all different locations. Yet there was a common feature. The bodies were all in plain sight, hanging from a rope in the room. After police questioning, five among the residents confessed to murder. As to their motives, they gave various reasons. Having an argument, or having never liked their victim. But they spoke not a word about the bodies hanging from ropes. 
the police announced that the most recent corpse was three days dead, and the oldest corpse had been dead for three weeks. Now, you're noticing something bizarre, aren't you? In the three weeks since the first murder, four other murders took place. And the homeless residing in the shelter decided not to report them, but to go on pretending they didn't see a thing. After the five criminals confessed and stated their, oh, and stated their motives, they all made this final comment. Now, I've finally become happy. Cork had the facility completely shut down, and the homeless living there all dispersed without ever speaking of what happened. Deepwood's hospital has not been demolished nor renewed since the happy murders. It simply sits there, quietly in the forest. Ew, 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 gross. Oh, God. What's this? Is this the incident from 15 years ago Keith mentioned? Yikes. I shouldn't have read that. Me reading stuff like that only makes things worse. But we're gonna take us with us, cause we're not a sissy. Okay. Get me out of this room. 